Hi Libras, this is going to be your weekly reading for April 21st through the 27th. Um, real quick, five card spray real quick. Um, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I pre-shuffled my decks, but if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I'd like to talk about briefly what's going on in the planets, with the planets. So during this week of the 21st through the 27th, Jupiter's in retrograde in Sagittarius, Mercury and Venus are in Aries, Mars is in Gemini, Saturn is in Capricorn, it retrogrades on the 28th this month. Uranus is in, it enters the retrograde zone on the 24th and Pluto goes into retrograde on the 24th as well in Capricorn. Um, Pluto rules change, transformation, and power. Our relationship with power, our own and other people's power. Um, and Saturn rules past life karma, life lessons, maturing and aging. And then we went over Jupiter, what it rules in the last reading. So all of those combined together, it's going to be very exciting, fiery time, especially with Mercury and Venus and Aries. Going to be very exciting. Things could be moving really quickly. It could be exciting in a bad way or could, could be exciting in a good way. So we shall see. Let's see what's in the cards for you. Libras, let's get four shuffles for you real quick. Just saw the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Three. Okay, what's going on with Libras? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign Libras. April 21st through the 27th universe. Two of um, pentacles, overall energy, balance, financial balance, stability, balance and stability, balance and wealth, balance and work and home life or something like that for some of you. Show me Libra's energy, April 21st through the 27th. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me Libra's energy. Page of Swords, who got this? Scorpio? Got Page of Swords. You got Page of Swords and the World card. You could be feeling adventurous. You could be spying on someone. You could be having new thoughts or needing new needing new thoughts or approaching approaching your Approaching something at a new angle. That's what I got. That came up in somebody else's reading. And I didn't want to say that at first, but it's what came to me. This is strong ideas. You could be having strong ideas about something. You could be curious or being practical. It's also a need to pay attention to detail. I feel like this is something new you're branching off into. So it's a need to pay attention to detail because you're not a pro. You know what I'm saying? So it won't be flawless. Um, don't get too excited. If you're dealing with something that has to do with contracts, documents, or other valuable information coming your way, you may need to respond very carefully and pay attention to the detail. This is someone exuberant and ambitious. I think that's you. I feel like you're in a new era of life. You're probably um, in a place where things are coming full circle for you. There's been endings and new beginnings or new eras and possibly new relationships for some of you. The world card is Earth energy, Saturn energy, Capricorn energy for me as a reader. Next level, recognition, new beginnings, rewards for past efforts, completion, expansion, celebration, the seeds of a new phase, uh, phase are sown. Yeah. Lovely. Let's look at the person or situation you're dealing with. It's a person or situation Libra is dealing with. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, I see what's going on. So you need new you need fresh new thoughts and a new way. I need uh, a new way of thinking to complete this phase, to complete a certain cycle and to reach a new level, the next level or new era. Because right now the situation involves mental restriction and inner conflict i feel like this conflict is inner i feel like this is your 
Who is this? Who are we talking to? Libra? I thought this was a different sign for a second. I'm going to say, who just had heart versus mind? I think that was Pisces. But that's what I get with this because this is mental energy, intelligence, conscious mind. And wands are fire, intuition, spiritual knowledge, or spiritual energy. So I feel like this is definitely internal. Um, you're blocking something. And that's what's causing you with this teeter-totter. Or like, <laughs> one of my favorite readers, Rich Lap. <laughs> he always says, flippy-floppy. Hey, that's that Libra shit. Y'all flip-flop. That's what y'all do. Um, let's look at the Five of Swords a little. A five of Wands a little closer. Arguments, conflict, creating new products, forging new ideas, power struggles, mastering yourself. This talks about being around people with strong opinions or competition. I feel like this is internal, though. I feel like you are the one with the strong opinions. Your mind and your ego is 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 strong. But you have to conquer. You have to conquer that in order to complete this phase and to reach a new level, to level up. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at the advice for you, Libra. What's the advice for Libras? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign Libras. April 21st through the 27th. What's the advice for Libras? Ten of Pentacles. Um, that's vague. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is vague. Ten of Pentacles is about stability, generosity. You may need to channel this energy. This is an in, this is coming from a place of overabundance as far as stability and generosity and prosperity goes and wealth. Love and support can indicate a wedding, property development, newer second home. Completion, tying up loose ends with a 10. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel like because this is your advice, you need to do this. And maybe you are doing this to tie up this, to tie up this, complete this phase. And I feel like this is just telling you to tie up this loose end. Let's get another one. What's the advice for Libras? Someone rising Venus and Jupiter sign Libras. Based on this spread, what is the advice for Libras? April 21st through the 27th. What is the advice for Libras? Someone rising Venus and Jupiter sign Libras. You may need to work together with someone or um, partner up with someone. I got that same kind of vibe from that two of wands that was at the bottom of the deck. The three of pentacles came out. This is also self-improvement. Gaining skills that will lead to prosperity long term. Apprenticeship. New skills working towards self-improvement. Um, learning new skills or improving on new, uh, on existing skills. Demonstrating your skills as well. Demonstrating what, what you've learned. And that's going to help you top this loose end and acquire this, this prosperity. Um, let's get some romance. I'm sorry. Not romance angels. Not yet. Get some advice from the Starman Tarot deck. The Starman Tarot deck is a, is a deck that's based on the magician. In this deck, um, the magician is the Starman. So it's a divine message attached to these cards. That's why I like to use it for advice and I'm still using them, learning them. I have a new deck on the way. It's finally on the way. Hmm. Hmm. What is the advice for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign Libras. April 21st through the 27th universe. We already got one card. The alien and the devil. I like it. I like it. The a Oh, we got another one. The high priestess. Oh, I like this. Okay. You're going to have to get real savvy. Your mind is playing tricks on you. You're going to have to play some tricks on your mind. This is about embracing your inner trickster. 
and giving in to temptations. But the temptations that you know are good for you. I feel like those temptations are coming from your intuition, the high priestess here. And then the alien is the hermit um, in this deck. So let me read from the book, not to get ahead of myself. Um, so the, the first part of this card, I feel like, is your advice. The second part, I feel like, is where you are right now. Um, embrace your inner trickster. Give in to temptations. Making choices based on impulse rather than desi desire. Deceiving yourself, feeling hopeless. I feel like now, in this energy, you probably, there is probably a sense of hopelessness attached to this. Or, like, deceiving yourself if you're... If you're having internal struggles, there could be some self-deception happening. And I feel like you got to deceive that. You know what I'm saying? Your intuition is going to have to deceive your ego. That's, the, that's this reading. That's what this reading is about. Let's look at the high priestess. Trust your intuition. Listen to your inner guides. Understanding, understand yourself better. Listen to the music of the universe. Allow creative ideas to germinate. Yeah, those impulses are what you need to listen to. Those impulses coming from your higher self, from the high priestess, from your intuition. Um, the alien. Know your worth. You are perfect the way you are. Be free. Seek answers within. Oh, wow, I'm looking for the hermit. This is the damn hermit. <laughs> Um, seek answers within. Go deeper and understand more of the universe. Take the time to do something you've never done before. Stop hiding. Oh, the stop hiding is in the reverse, but I feel like... I feel like some of you are, like, a little timid. Um, yeah, your intuition is going to have to trick your ego. Let's get the likely outcome for you, Libras. What's the likely outcome for Libra? Summarizing Venus and Jupiter. This popped out over the two of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are being a little selfish, being a little reserved. What's the likely outcome for Libra? Summarizing Venus and Jupiter sign Libras. April 21st through the 27th. What's the likely outcome for Libras? Let's lay right on out. Hey, man. Spiritual pause. Gaining new perspective. Waiting on a new perspective. Detaching. Sacrifice. Suspension. Letting go. Neptune, Pisces energy. <clears throat> I feel like you are letting go mentally and allowing your intuition to take over. And working with your intuition to get you to this Ten of Pentacles. Um... I feel like you're working through these. At whatever rate, rate you are, you're working through them um, during the spiritual pause. Because all of this around here is like trying to overcome this. I feel like everything around you or everything, yeah. Everything is working in the favor of overcoming this. This is the only negativity that I see. Even this page here. Learning a new way to approach this. That's lovely. Let's get some romance angels guidance for you, Libra. What are the messages from the romance angels for Libras? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign Libras. What are the messages? April 21st through the 27th for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah, it's raining. What are the messages for Libras? Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Hey, out with the old and with the new. Maybe you're not looking for the, nothing new right now, but that's how you get something new. You have to close out old cycles and old phases in order to start new ones. Any more messages for Libras? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter.
get another one? Yeah. I guess that I was meant to pull this one out too. Uh, playfulness. Reca to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Um, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. I feel like that's exactly what you're doing with the hangman here and the high priestess. I feel like you are spending your time allowing your intuition to trick your um, ego. And meanwhile, this situation is unfolding naturally. And you're overcoming this, these inter inner struggles. Reconciliation at the bottom. I saw it pre-shuffling. I mean, I saw it shuffling as well. Someone from your past is returning to your life. For maybe some of you. But don't try to control the way this is going to go. The universe is going to take over. You just need to do your part. What are the messages for Libras? Someone rising Venus and Jupiter sign Libras. Based on this spread, April 21st through the 27th. What are the messages for Libras? Shit. I wasn't gonna take them, but they all came up upright. Okay, I think that's good. Face your adversities. I feel like this is you facing your ego <clears throat> engage higher reason make sure that the things you're doing have purpose accept what is dying the ego those old thought patterns those defense mechanisms those walls those you know unhealthy patterns imagine solutions be solution oriented don't dwell on what's wrong or what, um, don't dwell on the problem, dwell on the solution. Reassess. Yeah, I think once you deal with this situation, there's going to be some reassessment either within or if you're dealing with a person, there's going to be some reassess. I feel like this is a, a lot internally. I don't get much of, other than like the, the Romance Angels cards. I feel like this is internal. I don't feel like you're dealing with someone else. This may have something to do with someone else, but I feel like all of this energy is you. Build on solid ground. Could be rebuilding within, or could be rebuilding a connection between someone else. But I definitely feel like this is you rebuilding from within and creating new habits. Um, let me look at this card real quick. Where is it? Build on solid ground. I do want to look at that real quick. Oh shit, where is it? 112. Your divine energy is calling you to create a life based on firm and truthful foundation and genuine integrity, not superficial appearances. Your divine energy, I'm sorry, your divine invitation. Scrutinize the bedrock in your life and invest your time and effort into soundly recreating it. But don't try to shore up sh shore up shaky ground. Instead, step aside and let things collapse. Yeah. That's what I get from, like, the hangman, the high priestess, the devil card. Like, you just letting things, letting the universe work this out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Instead, step aside and let things collapse. What is true will emerge from the dust and what is false will disintegrate. View your losses not as your worst nightmare, but as your liberation. Feel the freedom that comes from no longer living in denial and trying to sustain something flawed. Let the chips fall where they may. At least you'll know where you stand. And that's where that reassessment begins. You need to imagine solutions, though. Accept what is thine. Let the, let, let the pieces fall. And move forward with higher reason. Make sure you're being true to yourself and make sure you're doing things and engaging in things that bring you something you know some type of fulfillment that have some type of purpose Whew, I'm sorry I don't know why I just got like I feel like you're tired of dealing with it I feel like you're tired of um, this internal conflict 
fighting yourself, so to speak. So, let it go. And, um, yeah, that's your reading, Libra. I hope that resonates. Let me know if it gives you some insight, guidance. Um, if you want a personal reading, that information is below. If you want to connect with me on Instagram, that information is below. And also, Instant Go. Um, I have another reading for the second half of April up also. So, check that out um, for extra insight. And until next time, peace, love, and light. Bye, Libras.